we have this uh, segment called Extra Time. People send in their questions. And somebody sent in, you know, do you think Chucky Lozano can make it at Manchester United? So, uh, of course, I can't opine on this sacred panel. I have to ask the experts. Um, <laughs> and by experts, I mean our good buddy, her, uh, Craig Burley, who is on the panel with me. And um, basically, he said that Chucky wouldn't really help Manchester United, that if they want to rebuild to the places that they want to go, he's not the type of player that they should sign. Uh, you know, effectively for me, my translation on that is he's too small for what Manchester United needs at the moment. Um, I'll ask you, as I've kind of gone through Manchester United's roster, and I've taken a look really kind of where their strengths lie, what their roster might look like next year. We know Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to A, stick around, and B, get a lot of money to make transfers, and C, uh, the reports are he's going to clean house quite a bit. So do you think that Chucky Lozano would, and I'm going to put it just to you this way, be a starter at Manchester United in that first 11? Well, you made it easy for me. A starter, I don't think so. Could he play on Manchester United? Yeah, I think he could find his way onto that team and maybe find his way in some time. They play a lot of competitions, a lot of cup games, different types of uh, tournaments. So yeah, he could play. I don't think he'd be an out-and-out -out starter if you were going to play a Champions League important game, a knockout round game. That said, Chucky Lozano is still a very good player. He had some difficulties going forward in Eddie Avizia with his head coach about maybe the tactical discipline that it takes to play, uh, not just the attacking side of it, but what happens after you lose the ball. But Chucky Lozano is still a player that's going to go and get a very lucrative deal, very lucrative uh, move to a big team. I just don't know if it'll be that Class A team we keep talking about. Does it need to be the Class A team? I want it to be the Class A team. I'll say that as the fan here. Like, I, I, he's... If, you, if the jump is there, let's make it. Like, we, we always talk about getting more players in that yeah. realm. He's okay. hot right now. Do it. Whether he fails Sebi, or not doesn't matter. He's let me ask you a question. Is Dortmund a Class A team? Yeah, I would put them there just just on the edge of it, but yes. I think you're right. They're, they're on that cusp of AB. I think that's his level. I think that's where he can realistically go. Spurs, and that's where he can Dortmund, realistically do something. Would you put Spurs something. there? Would you put Spurs in that conversation? Here's, here's, the, here's the issue. And... and since he's a Mexican national team player, this is going to com command a high transfer fee because that's what they do. It comes with the North American market, like Christian Pulisic, and, and Spurs doesn't spend more than I don't think they spent more than forty million on any player in their transfer history uh, recently. So I, no, I don't see him at Spurs. Uh, he's going to command. I think he's going to go for for more than forty million. Where do you think he goes? You tell me where he's not going to go. Tell me where he is going to go. I think he finds his way Napoli. I know this is a club that's mm. flirted uh, a few times with Mexican national team players. Hector Herrera most recently, but he had the that one, um, I guess you could say, snag because Pachuca still owned a portion of his transfer fee. Well, this is another Pachuca player, so that relationship still exists there. I could see him in Serie A. Mm. Mm. Interesting. I like that one. Uh, listen, so here's, I, I wanted to disagree with Craig Burley on, the, uh, on my extra time segment, Herc, but I didn't, and, and here's why. You look at that Manchester United, like the players that he would be going up against, right? Uh, Marcus Rashford sometimes plays wide for them, but I think it's a lot of people say he might move up, take Lukaku's spot if he moves on. Um, so really, the, the, there's two kind of wide spots. You figured he'd have to beat out a, either Anthony Martial or uh, Jesse Lingard. Yeah, good and, luck. And, and those, hey, but, but, to make that jump, that's the type of player you have to be. Yeah, out. Not, but you're at, going at against a club. player that's that's been absolutely fantastic under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Is is a player that's grown immensely under him, and now you're asking Chucky Lozano, who comes from Eredivisie, Divisie, to beat him out and automatically be the man there. That's very difficult because one already has equity with that team. The other is coming in completely new, completely uh, to a new situation without any backing of his own. Yeah, I just wonder, man. I wonder if when Chicharito signed with Manchester. United if anybody thought that he would play and start and get minutes right away I think it's very easy to to think that these guys are not going to be able to make that yeah. jump yeah I know what you're saying but they're different players and Chicharito had one thing going for him he scored goals his first game was against the MLS All-Stars scores a goal uh, the very next game that I see him is Community Shield against Chelsea I believe and he scores that goal off his face all he kept doing was scoring goals it's a very different player so it doesn't matter where you come from if you're putting the ball in the back of the net you're gonna get minutes